Mm-hmm. Or that, but but you quite. My point though is that you distinguish a variety of version of versions of capitalism that are not equal, and I think the right place for us to start is with industrial capitalism, and so. So what was this system and what was its purpose, if it can be said to have one? Well, what made uh, it was really Marx that described how industrial capitalism was uh, basically different from feudalism and from the ancient mode of uh, production. Uh, And capitalism uh, was, uh, Marx said, every uh, uh, era has its own form of uh, creating a surplus ultimately from labor. In feudalism, you serf them. The serfs were tied to the land. They had to turn over their uh, 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 the crop to the uh, uh, to the uh, landowner, to uh, the local lord. Uh, the ancient mode of production was slavery and usury. Uh, but uh, the capitalist mode of production uh, was uh, free labor. Labor could work uh, and live wherever it wanted. It wasn't tied to the land. In fact, it was driven off the land uh, into the cities. Uh, to seek employment is wage labor, and uh, the industrial capitalists differed from uh, the land uh, the landowners who uh, landlords and aristocracy who uh, were the, the uh, basics of feudalism because the industrialists uh, employed wage labor to uh, and to produce a product. Uh, the industrial capitalists would uh, have obtain the money to uh, employ labor. And buy capital, buy a uh, uh, a factory, and, uh, in order to uh, produce uh, 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 the goods. You buy machinery, buy the fuels to run the machinery. Uh, he would organize the uh, economics of production to produce goods that he would serve at a higher price than it cost to employ labor and buy the raw materials and buy uh, uh, and uh, uh, the cost of production. So Marx said that. Uh, all uh, forms of exploiting labor were, in one sense or another, exploitative. Slavery employed it of antiquity, uh, exploited labor by uh, just uh, giving it uh, the bare, bare minimum uh, of subsistence. Uh, feudalism exploited labor by just uh, tying it to the land and taking what it produced. Uh, uh, and this was purely exploitative. Uh, capitalism. Uh, exploited labor in the sense that the yes, the capitalist made a profit by uh, uh, employing labor, but the capitalist, unlike the landlord and unlike the slave owner, actually played a productive role in organizing production. The capitalist is who organized industry and made possible growth. And uh, as the American economists uh, pointed out, especially in the 19th century, they said the capital. Uh, an intelligent capitalist is going to realize that uh, high wage labor is more productive than low wage labor. So the intelligent capitalist is going to do two things. Number one, he's going to pay uh, labor enough to be healthier, uh, to be well fed, well clothed, and well well educated, so that uh, labor's living standards will be uplifted in capitalism instead of the feudal. Uh, a ment- uh, rentier mentality of just to pay them as little as possible and take all the profit. The capitalist had to be part of an expansion, but also the capitalist uh, didn't want to have to pay for uh, many of the costs that labor had. So the capitalist uh, wanted an uh, uh, increasing role of government. Outside of England, the capitalist wanted industrial tariff protection so that uh, the prices would be high enough so that domestic industrialists could afford to make the capital investment in uh, plant and equipment and, uh, uh, in order to uh, rival that of England. Uh, that's what Germany did. That's what America did, uh, protectionism. Uh, secondly, they wanted the government to bear as many of uh, what are now called the external costs of production as possible. As much of the labor's uh, consumption that, uh, did not, that the employer did not have to pay should be paid by government. So uh, uh, England, America, Germany, all the uh, uh, enlightened capitalist economies said, well, we're going to want government to provide certain basic needs uh, that are not monopolies, like public health. Uh, and it was the conservatives, it was the capitalist class that was really fighting for this. 
Uh, in England, it was uh, Benjamin Disraeli uh, that advocated health. Health is everything and advocated public health uh, for England uh, much better than you get the today's uh, uh, Thatcherized uh, uh, public health system. Uh, another thing would be education. Uh, the, uh, America uh, was laid out geographically in terms of school districts, where each district would finance uh, its own public education. Uh, the government uh, in Europe, uh, especially, would uh, treat any uh, in inherent monopoly as something that uh, the government should produce because the government would provide uh, the, uh, the re these services not at cost, but either freely, like education or health care, or a subsidized rate. So the governments uh, in, in Europe uh, would have public, uh, or public uh, telephone system, public communication, public transportation, public water and sewer. Every, every industry that could be monopolized uh, uh, was uh, held to be uh, appropriately in the government so that it would minimize the cost of living and by minimizing the cost, the labor of having to pay for health care and education and uh, uh, basic needs, uh, they would minimize the cost of doing business to the employer and to the economy. So Marx said the uh, tendency of industrial capitalism, uh, the law of motion of uh, industrial capitalism was to move towards socialism, to evolve towards an increasing uh, role of uh, 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 public uh, uh, capital investment, uh, and also uh, industrial capitalism needed financing. And Marx said that in, uh, uh, capitalism had revolutionized uh, finance, at least in Germany it was, that the old financial system uh, in England, Holland, uh, America, was uh, purely uh, predatory. It was uh, not productive. Loans were made uh, for war financing uh, ever since the uh, 13th uh, century uh, crusades, uh, it was the Vatican that took, had taken the lead in organizing a European financial system to finance the crusades and, and wars, uh, not to play any uh, kind of a productive role. But Marx said, finally, industrial capitalism has a use of credit that doesn't involve war, it doesn't involve uh, uh, corruption, it doesn't uh, uh, involve uh, making loans to unproductive governments. Industrial capitalism is going to make governments themselves productive. Uh, and for that, uh, it's going to make not only uh, transportation and health care and education a public utility, it'll make uh, banking, in effect, the public utility. And that's what you had uh, in Germany developing uh, up until World War I. So that by the time World War I broke out, uh, even in England, uh, 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 Economists wrote articles in Economic Journal, other publications, saying that they worried that uh, Germany was going to win a World War I because it had uh, productive uh, uh, banking as a public utility that could finance uh, actual capital investment, uh, whereas uh, British and European banking and American banking simply was asset stripping. It wanted uh, to uh, have profits paid out to dividends to make money for the stockholders and for the bondholders, not at the reinvest and expanding uh, production as occurred in, uh, uh, in Germany and Central Europe. So capitalism was uh, uh, basically uh, a, a transition towards socialism uh, uh, and uh, starting with a mixed economy. All of the capitalist economies were mixed economies, uh, but being a mixed economy, the political fight was to take control of the government away from landlords and away from the rentier class and put it in the hands of the industrial class that allied with uh, the wage earning class uh, together against the landlords. And that was basically what the 19, the 1848 revolutions were all about. Uh, the uh, labor and capital against the landlords, monopolists, uh, and the banks. And that was the basic uh, political uh, orientation uh, of capitalism. Well, obviously, this entailed uh, how do you take over the governments of England, France, and other countries that are controlled basically by the House of Lords? And the House of Lords fought against 
uh, any attempt to tax the land, any attempt to uh, uh, get rid of the protective tariffs that had raised uh, food prices uh, in England from 1815, when the uh, Napoleonic Wars ended, to uh, finally 1846, when the Corn Laws, the protective tariffs, were uh, uh, put aside. Uh, they they wanted uh, free trade and not protecting uh, the landlords, uh, but to uh, bring the cost of food in England down to the cost of production in the cheapest market, which was basically the United States. Uh, so uh, you, you, you had the, uh, the objective of uh, industrial capitalism was to compete with other countries by lowering the cost of production, including the cost of uh, hiring labor, by uh, having uh, governments pick up uh, more and more of the cost of production through uh, public infrastructure uh, investments.